Hi. The <clears throat> results in the Wellingborough and Kingswood by-elections were announced in the early hours of yesterday morning. As the pundits, the so-called experts, commentators, pontificate over the results, like shaman mulling over the entrails of sacrificed animals, several things immediately stand out. First of all, despite the turmoil in Rochdale, elsewhere, that has resurrected the questions of anti-Semitism in Labour, it didn't actually impact on the Labour vote. Huge Conservative majorities were overturned, repeating the pattern that's become established over the last couple of years with this dying administration. The Reform UK Party did achieve what could be described as a sort of respectable amount of votes, although, to place things in perspective, it only matches what the Nazi National Front were picking up in the 1970s by-election. In no way has Reform UK broken a mould, nor will they, as there's more than a remote possibility they could, post-general election, merge with and become the new Conservative Party. One thing of note was the actual turnout. In spite of all the media publicity canvassing, the amount of registered voters that cast their ballots numbered just over a third. <clears throat> this was a sort of an unofficial unorganised boycott, or to be even more accurate, the majority treated the by-elections as an irrelevant turn-off, rather than a conscious rejection of the system that's putting forward a real alternative to our rotten, corrupt, unreformable UK, which really is most regrettable. So now, the Muppet Show leads to the more turbulent waters of Rochdale next Thursday. More about this interesting contest next week. Bye.